Why do we need to pee? What would happen if we don't pee or hold pee for too long? Let us find out. Human body is just like a chemical factory. If you follow news, you would know chemical factories release lots of toxic waste in rivers, canals, etc. They are not evil. Those are actually useless side products produced during many chemical processes. Same way, lots of chemical processes are going on inside our body. Even when we are sleeping or doing nothing, we are talking about metabolisms. Metabolisms are the chemical processes that occur within a living organisms in order to maintain life. But not everything produced in metabolisms are useful for our body. Few side products are very harmful. Like during protein metabolisms, ammonia is produced as side product, which is very very bad for our body. So we have to get those harmful things out of our body. You do exactly that when you pee, that is you urinate. Now how urine is formed? Urine is formed in our kidneys. Kidneys are a pair of reddish bean shaped organs. Blood collects waste from all over the body and when that blood flows through kidneys, kidneys collect this waste from blood and produce urine. More than 95% of urine is just water. Kidneys are formed of small nephrons which filters blood. There are more than 1 million nephron in each kidney. But that is just an estimation because counting nephron in kidney is just like counting hair on your head. Renal arteries carry blood to kidney. This artery gets divided into narrower arteoles. Then arteoles form capillaries. The first part of nephron which receives the blood is renal capsule. It looks like a capsule. The capsule part is Bowman's capsule. Inside that capsule there is a capillary, glomerulus capillary. Glomerulus capillary filters blood with a simple trick. The diameter of incoming arteoles is wider than the diameter of the efferent arteoles by which blood leaves glomerulus. So space becomes narrower suddenly and this creates a pressure which forces water, salt, urea, glucose etc. out of the capillary into Bowman's capsule. This filtered liquid goes into the next part of nephron, renal tubule. Wait, we need water, glucose and some salts. Those are necessary. About only 1% of glomerular filtrate actually leaves our body. Rest of the water, salt, glucose, etc. are reabsorbed in renal tubule. Most of the water, glucose, ions, etc. are reabsorbed in the first part of renal tubule which is proximal convoluted tubule. Then comes Henle's loop which looks like letter U. Remaining water with dissolved salt and ions is absorbed here. Whatever left is urine. Urine goes into distal convoluted tubule. The urine then goes to collecting ducts. From kidneys, urine goes into two tubes, the ureters. From ureters, urine goes into bladder. Now our second question was, what if you hold your pee for too long? Bladder wall is lined up with receptors that send signal to brain when urine pressure inside the bladder is high then you feel an urge to pee. If you are playing game and decide to hold your pee, sphincter muscles stop the urine. But remember this, holding pee for too long too frequently can weaken your bladder muscles. Later, you might not able to empty your bladder completely, so you would have to pee many times. Holding pee increases the risk of urinary tract infection and even kidney stone. So, pause your game and go to toilet. That's all for now.